So today we will be discussing about insulin, a few words about insulin. There are a lot of myths about insulin and very less fact about the insulin. So let me go into detail. Okay. Hi everyone. This is Dr. Jay Surya. I am MD General Medicine, a diabetologist working in Upper. Most commonly people ask me that once I start with insulin, my life is doomed only with insulin. I can never get back to medicine. This is a most commonly asked question to me. No, that statement is completely false. Once we start some people for certain indication, we start on insulin and it is 100% possible for them to get back to medicine depending upon the condition for which we started the insulin. So I'll explain it a little bit detail, right? Some people, for example, this is the first time I am diagnosing you to be have a diabetes. Okay. And if your age group falls around from 20 to 40, the first line of drug is always insulin. Okay. Why? Because once we start with insulin, the rest of the time when we switch back to medication, you will be requiring only a very low dose of medication. That's why we always prefer to start insulin in the first. It will be only for a short duration, either it can be three months or six months. We will immediately stop with insulin. We will get back to you on medications. So that with the medication, you can stay for up to 30 to 40 years. This is one way of starting insulin. Second, if you are admitted in hospital for any other conditions, any critical care conditions or any illness, any fever, and if you are in ICU stay, it is always preferable to be get treated with the insulin so that we can adjust the dosage very easily and it will be more helpful for you to control the glycemic control. Once the critical care illness is settled, we will get back them on medication. Again, I am stopping the insulin and I am getting back to tablets. That is one of the another indication why we use insulin. And most commonly, why these people, why everyone started to believe that once we start on insulin, we are going to be in insulin forever is that most of our elderly, like our parents or grandparents, once they start with the insulin, they are with the insulin. That is the reason that most people got out of fear. But you have to understand certain fact. They have been diabetic for more than 30 years or 15 years. The medication can work up to a certain extent. On particular point of time, for, a, for any particular individual, if the medication is not working properly, all his diabetic medications is not working properly, then I have no other option to start him on insulin. For that candidate, the insulin is going to be forever because he is not responding to tablets. That is the reason I am starting him on insulin and he is going to be on insulin forever because no point in getting back to medication which is not going to work for him. So depending on the insulin and medication, it is always different from every single individual. For example, your father can be in insulin with the same sugar level. Same sugar level, your mother can be on tablet also. Okay. This is entirely different. Depending upon every individual, we will be adjusting and deciding whether it is going to be insulin or it's going to be a tablet. So you have to understand that it is 100% possible that we can switch over from insulin to medicine, medicine to uh, insulin any time, depending upon the conditions. It is always decided by the doctor. So if you have any doubts regarding the insulin, don't go search in Google. Don't go ask your neighbors. Just go meet a doctor who is specialist in the field of diabetology. Ask him the question. He will explain you in detail why he is starting insulin for you, how long you are going to be on insulin and when he is going to change to the medication. This is one way. Suppose if you doesn't want to go with insulin and your sugar level should be under control. So bring down the sugar level under control. It depends on three steps. One is your diet. Number two is your physical activity. Third is your medication or insulin. If you do, doesn't want to choose the medication and insulin, then you have to be very strict with your diet and physical activity. If you are going to miss with your diet and physical activity, the third part, medicine going to increase. For example, if I started one patient on one medication, okay, and he has started to follow strict diabetic diet, daily one of physical activity, he has started to bring down his sugar levels, then definitely I will reduce the medication. If the same client stopped his diabetic diet, started to take a lot of sweets, and stop this physical activity, then I will be keep on increasing his medication. So increasing the medication, going to insulin or reducing the medication, it purely depends on your diet and physical activity. It is always your call. If you are able to maintain proper diabetic diet, proper physical activity, then definitely we can reduce your medication as well as insulin. So at any point of time regarding your diabetic, always visit the doctor because every individual diabetic treatment is different from the another individual. So it is going to be entirely different. So take home message is that 
any time from insulin you can get back to medicine and from medicine you can go back to insulin it all depending upon your health condition thank you